I'm honestly not sure. If they're 1v1, I'd be down. 1v1 Commander was fun. Because it was just like vintage. It was vintage light. Yeah, part of CEDH is politicking, except they completely removed that because they put it on Moto. Four players glacially slow, yep. Yes, it is. I CEDH was one-on-one. -on -one. I have no idea, to be honest. I thought CEDH was four people, but it was just competitive. Because they have something called 1v1 Commander, and then they have CEDH. I thought those were different things. I'll be honest, I don't know. CDH is four player. I feel like they could have just made like... Just EDH leagues. Take out the C. <laughs> and just put them at like friendly league prices. I don't know. I don't know. Not gonna pretend like I understand. I hope they're cool, and I hope that it gets more people to play Moto. And I'm sure it's gonna be a big part of the MTGO content creator program. Teferino plus pass. Oops, all three twos. Fix chest prices. I would love for them to be fixed. Holy bone shards. Uh, that's not good for me. Maybe I should have minus Tef. Yeah, chests are kind of being flooded into the economy. The reason they're being flooded into the economy is because there's a mixture of a lot of 64-man vintage cube things, plus all of these challenges that they've been adding. It's kind of taking the value on them. Two mana mill three. They pay out decently well for the amount of that. Like, there's so many of them that they pay out well enough, I should say. I'm sure the chess prices will probably go back up once Modern Horizons 3 comes out. But... Who knows? Put that back on top and then conceded. What do we have in the graveyard hate department? We have one copy of Rest in Peace. We got a Dress Down, Oven's Veto, Hollowed Moonlight, Rare Revelation. I'm probably not bringing in here. Leyline of Sanctity, I could bring in. But Supreme Verdict completely. Maybe one Subtlety out, Lorien out, Binding out? I guess prismatic ending is worse than binding. Keep the subtlety in. Take these pendings out. Stern Scolding's not bad in this matchup either. I got inspired by you, Garrick. After the absolute whooping you delivered me. Ours is pretty good against them, too. Take out a solitude or two. A little light on wing conditions, though. You have 1,500 chests? Holy. Uh, I had a lot of chests at 400. Although I looked at uh, Juju Bean's account one time, and he had like 8,000 chests. And I was like, holy. How do you even get 8,000 chests? Although that kid's kind of cracked. Kind of wins everything. He had an offshore tax haven. 
Juju Bean. Mr. Julian. He had like 8,000 chests and like 5,000 tickets just chilling on his account. He's like starting a college fund with just his moto account. Now chests drop once the set releases. They update the treasure chests. 700 plus 5 O's. He just plays in like a lot of challenges and showcase qualifiers and does very well. Typically in Legacy. Kind of cracked at Legacy. I think he also won one of those secret layer brainstorms if I remember correctly. Challenges are tough. Island, Island, Hollow Fountain, Hollow Fountain, Plains, Taplands, alright, Hollow Fountain it is. This Plains is kind of bad vibes, I'm not gonna lie. This Plains is not where I want to be right now. I'd rather just this be a Hollow Fountain. I would like to yell at your archaeologist. No more finding fajitas. Yeah, a lot of the challenges are kind of free rules. Not 100% free rules, but like, pretty close. Yeah, opponent's hogging the priority. Hey, pass it back. I got some plays to make. The so qualifier points are specifically for the showcase challenges. Play points can be used for anything, but uh, I think you're talking about qualifier points. I think I'm going to play this Narset quite yet. Yeah, you can spend them on cube drafts at the end of the season. It's like 10 qualifier points for a cube draft. I keep having like 400 plus QPs at the end of every season. I just don't have the time to cube draft. Not 40 cube drafts anyways. Do you have a god account? Uh, not yet. Gotta spell this. Might be wrong. They said something about giving away god accounts with the MTGO content creator program, so I might be getting a god account. But also, I'm not sure what they consider a god account, because if I can't earn prizes on said account, a little bit meaningless to me. Because I find half the fun in playing Moto just like getting prizes. And waiting for the server. That's the other half. That's really fun. I watch this little thing spin after I already clicked on the card. And it waits for the server. You can win prizes, but not run to the mox race. That's fine. I can play those, like, other tournaments on my other account. That wouldn't be too big of an issue. Does Spike have one already? I never got mine. I figured they would, like, email me with more information. And touch the spirit realm. Cosmic Rebirth's pretty sweet here. Because even if they get rid of Narset, I can just bring back Narset. Yep, grief. Love a ring. Imagine they go Grief at Narset. If they attack Grief at me, I'd be surprised, but we'll see. Pretty sad Grief, right? Now, I'm testing out this blue white list for a buddy. This is Jumi's blue white list. They're planning on taking it to the MXP event, and I said I'd help them test it. I think there's two archives. Did I upload it to this flex slot? I don't think I did, did I? 
No, I did. I uploaded it to the flex slot. Exclamation mark deck should get you there. It's on uh, two archives. RNZs! Save the 20 months. Aw. Thanks, Carnsies. Appreciate the kind of words in the 20 months. Welcome back. Here for the three twos. We've three twoed one league so far. We four one, then three twoed, and this is probably going to be another three two, knowing blue white. I'm going to be playing Pioneer soon or sticking with Modern mostly. I'm going to be playing Pioneer more. As soon as the Pioneer season rolls around, I'm planning on trying to at least fire off a couple of RCQ bullets. Not sure how dedicated I'm going to be to it, but. We'll try. I think I'm just going to untap here. I kind of want to wait for them to cast like a draw too and then flash back this Narset. Because I think it'd be sweet. It'd be kind of a blowout. Take three. One ring. Protection trigger. Protection trigger? I feel like we had a, a lot of, like, opponents that have taken their time today. I'll put it that way. I think I'm just going to continue passing with this Cosmic Rebirth and wait for them to cast a cantrip and then be very sad. Yep, we've devolved to the Cosmic Rebirth piles. Yeah, I missed draw one and discard one, but it's still better than them drawing two, right? Maybe this is wrong because I can still discard a Trox and Gorios on my turn. And I don't have Force Negation up anymore. Draw one, discard a Troxo. Bless. They did not have another Reanimator spell. Or a single Gorios, I should say. Not another. What's up, Norwegian? Our set to two. So I have Force Negation backup if I really need to use it too. It doesn't seem like I'm going to need to use it yet. My opponent's at like half my time. And I'm playing blue-white. Hmm. I no longer think this Atrox is ever going to come down. Atrox and Shambles. Opponent in shambles. A fairy. Meet subtlety. Anyone want to play anymore? Uh, oof. This is a tough hand. Not my favorite looking hand. <laughs> Got my name next to Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough hand. I'm going to keep it, though. Perfect blue and white keep. Oh, my bad. It was J-Hops that crushed that round. 12 stars, and so did Maker. Is this Scion? Kavu. Kind of panning this Kavu. We can subtlety the next threat, counterspell the next threat, and then lose. 
because we ran out of gas. It's the perfect plan. That one's fine. Hopefully I can find an answer in the coddle in like five turns before it kills me. Oh, it's got a lot of mana over there. Three turns I can gas solitude and die to double travel flames. That's the plan. Ragavan. I think that's good enough to get a counter spell from me. Which is unfortunate. I do need double white here, so I think I need to get a trium. Or not a trium, a uh, surveil land. Been another surveil land. I have hard gas subtlety up. That's true, Cosmic Rebirth does gain 3 life. It's all the lands. Sorry, pretty soon we can cast Lorien Revealed. Then they're done. Dunzos. Cooked. Big three. Down to 12. One red. One red. One green. One emotional support elk into the hand. Probably just gonna leave up solitude. Possible they're just flooding. I think the good thing about Solitude is that they they're shocking. What are we doing? Killing me? Yeah, the Pioneer just got control that top eight of the challenge, but in reality just kinda like cheated. Yeah. Yeah, they're leaving up stub. They abuse the bug where they can like untap and tap their land and undo it and it drains the opponent's clock. So they just drain all their opponent's clocks. Yes. I imagine Gigantha went to the bottom, right? No, Gigantha went to the top. Oh. I don't think they're going to cast pre-combat Gigantha again. Oh, they are casting pre-combat Gigantha again. Honestly, I think this is fine. I'd rather Solid Dude than trade with the Wild Nicotl. I guess I don't have to trade with the Wild Nicotl, but I'm going to. I could just, like, let this Wild Nicotl vibe and then just start attacking him back. But if I leave the Solitude around, it turns on their bindings, I guess. Lorian, go. Holy Supreme Verdict. Young Dingo wins. Alright. Take another Verdict. Go up to four post board. Dress Town's amazing. Stern Scolding is mediocre. Pick your poison's good. Take Ray of Revelation. I don't think I want Stern Scolding. Force Negation out. Probably trim a Narset. I like binding. I like pending. 
like counterspell. Maybe I just actually just take out this Nars head package. I leave him one Nars head. I don't care for student scolding in the matchup that much. If Kava was a 0 0 on the stack, I would like student scolding a whole hell of a lot more. I think I just want to max out on like sweepers and creature removal. And of course, dress down is insane. I was a 5 5 on the stack. I might regret this hand. Yeah, it seems the new Leyline Binding with the train tracks, right? that will be perfect art. Yeah, it's not even that bad. Come on. It's not that bad. I promise. You're gonna force my true Italian out of me. I'm gonna start going all mango. A bean, eh? Not the bad hand. Beginning of combat. It's time for the tutum. Win this game and give him a sub, I'd say less. Full focus mode. Bye bye, eh? Ragavan. Prismatic ending? Supreme verdict. I'm gonna get absolutely donked on by this Ragavan. Or I guess I just salty this Ragavan again. Probably better. Yeah, I think having ring we could probably afford to get rid of this Supreme Verdict. i am be honest, I haven't had Papa John's in, like, years. Probably, like, six or seven years. I think the last time I had Papa John's was at, like, a school function. Or, like, high school or middle school. Big Draco. Ah. Sacrifice an artifact. If they have like Kavu, oh, that's fine. That's the least scary two drop threat they could have had. Vran brainstorming more. I feel like all of my opponents are casting brainstorm, but that's because they're just playing mad slow. Yeah, it definitely turns on stub. But I mean, stub was live anyways if we're trying to curve out. Land on top? Land? Yay. Don't get startled. But I think there might be more than one ring. Dice a stub. Not stub? Leyline Binding. Alright, well they picked the wrong time to do this. Could have waited until I tapped it. This kind of gave me a free card. Unless they were really dead set on like holding up mana this turn for stub. So they could have fetched Breeding Pool, so... I mean, if they have Stub up, we're not winning this game. Unless we top deck Supreme Verdict. I'm feeling Supreme. Okay, I'm not feeling Subtlety. Ah, I'm feeling Supreme. The 
Patrol's so easy. Oh, commits more to the board, too. Chevskis. How expensive will the uh, new Jays be? And we have like a how much command? 21 entire dingo bucks. How much? A uh, little three for one against the aggro deck. Or Slayer's timeout. Oh yeah, my bad. Didn't see that. Sometimes he's like pretty sneaky about it. He'll do when I'm not looking. Hit four mana time warp on a three three. I just think that Domain's got a terrible control matchup. In general. It's like, how, can you really fault the opponent? Supreme Verdict's a hard card to play around. How many top decks have a terrible control matchup? Uh, let me go on Goldfish. Give you a more accurate answer. Oh, oh, I don't know what I just did. What did I just do? What did I just do? Oh, okay. I understand what I just did. All right, so I think Control's got a pretty bad Demir mid-range matchup, a pretty poor Esper mid-range matchup. Like, how are you ever beating Rafine? Boros Convoke can be tough unless you have temporary lockdown. Teamer Control, I don't know. Control Mirror might be like something. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, it's got a good Zoom matchup. It's got a Poor Gorio's matchup. It's got an okay Yagmoth matchup. Tron's unwinnable. Amulet's unwinnable. Nah, Amulet can't be winnable. Amulet's just really tough sometimes. I definitely think Gorio's and Yag are, or Gorio's Yag Tron are all like really bad. Creativity's really hard. Merktide's good, Scam's fine, Four Colors, fine, opponent gave up. Karzis. Thanks for gifting us up and proving the hater wrong. Appreciate it, Karzis. We've been really up on time in these past couple of matches, so... This league might actually go fast. Keyword might. Yeah, if you're main decking subtlety and dress down, then you're going to have a good Titan matchup. Some builds of control have a very poor Titan matchup. That's the cool thing about controls. You can just kind of customize your deck to be able to beat whatever. Mill's really hard, and for whatever reason, Mill is 2.7% of the meta right now. Who let this happen? Who let Mill be so popular? Which one of you in chat? It's good. Trust me. Mill is great. Borg. Nar said no. The wreck, no. Yeah, it's the mono black deck. I think we get Hollow Fountain. Dock it and then try to save my ring. Why am I even bothering pending? That's a good point. 
When you put it that way, Hotashi. So I'm probably going to need a pending needle on ring. Yeah, well, you just drive everything you need, it doesn't matter. Now you're right, though. You're right, you're right. This mono black that can never be one single copy of the one ring. Nice Dothy chump. The Dak Faden Vampires Brew? I don't think so. You feeling supreme opponent? Oh, we gotta wait for the server. I wonder if Moto's a 64 tick server or Troll, Vade Ripper, Grief, Scam, Soren, Bloodguest. Looks something like what Spike was playing. Looks very, very similar to what Spike was playing. Each player discards a card. It's me, I'm player. Uh, green, white, black, be gone, play this pass. <laughs> Got him, Zeriak. Why I oughta? Yes, I'm just gonna binding this. I might die to this ring if I don't find an answer to it. This ring is slowly killing me. Another one. There's many cards in my hand. Fair and balanced. Yay, ring. Yay, ring. That's a big slide for the Sky Dragon. Oh yeah, Slifer like gains attack and defense based on like how many cards you have in hand, right? Yeah, we would have a big Slifer. Ray of Revelation for the Saga decks is fine. Dress downs, good. Force negation, bad. Pick your poison in. I think I want like two verdicts. Oh, Leyline of Sanctity. It's Jober. I mulligan the Leyline, they never win. That was bad. I think Counterspell is like pretty bad. I don't know if I want to take out all of them. Light for Orc Token. But then it'll make another Orc Token. No, I guess it won't because it'll take it off the stack. Oh, yeah, I could. I mean, I don't think it's very good, but I could. Also not a big fan of this Narset days and doing combo against them. I guess Narset's pretty good. Bingo stop. You can't keep getting away with it, Slayer. I don't need Narset. Their ring deck? No. They're playing the rack. And this is how we lose to said the rack. I was Slayer. You said go big or go home. Alright, Slayer. Your three cards are Consider, Expressive Iteration, Dragon's Rage Channeler, 
ERC. EI. Consider. Best of luck. You're going to need it after what I witnessed yesterday. Or two days ago, I guess. Find green mana. I really wish it had like a band triome in it. Like a band triome would be great. No band triome, Sedge. Alright, Slayer. I'm picking this one. Go ahead and take your guess whenever you're ready. Be purged for 24 hours. DRC, I'm gonna show you consider. I did not pick consider. Now, Slayer, would you like to keep or would you like to swap? You'd like to swap? Well, Slayer, you made the right decision because I picked Expressive Iteration. Claps for Slayer. Alright, Slayer, let me give you a sub. Let me do my due diligence. Necromentia, hello? Okay. I mean, I think they're naming the One Ring. Because they just can never beat it. Slayer dabbed on chat. I mean, can they even be what I got going on right now? Subs are 69,420 channel points. Or you can roulette for one. Turn the radio up. Is a banger. Race for the saga. And take a couple hits off this grief. I take a supreme verdict. Oh boy. Cosmic Rebirth. I think if we hit land drops this game, it would have been a lot easier. Missing on land drops just felt so bad. I don't really want to solid do one of these griefs yet. I like him prismatic ending. See what's on top. Binding. Why didn't I rebirth the land? I have no green mana. No ephemerate. One, two, three. Sucks. I have a solitude pitch ray. Hit grief. Binding grief. Try not to die to the rack. The mana base has been really awkward this game. I really wish I had a man try him. Petria has not been it.
At least my Leyline Binding is marginally cheaper. I like how I just got rid of the Bray and then they play Nerza Saga. Madge. I drew Island and not Green Source. Maybe I should have pitched Cosmic Rebirth instead, but I figured the life gain might make a difference. I was going to also return Solitude later. Ah, uh, Double Saga. Shaisa. Yeah, both green sources are tapped also. Well, that sucked. Kinda just stumble pretty badly. I feel like I don't really want reactive cards like Counterspell in this matchup. Spars and Xanders. I think Spars and Xanders is probably better. I agree. Lands and spells. Not the greatest mana though. I've seen better. I just love video games. Thank you for the follow. Wait, maybe I should have started on the draw. That's actually a good point. Not very often do I put myself on the draw, but I think this was one of those times where I probably should have put myself on the draw. I think you're correct. Should have put myself on the draw. So if I played Teferi and they flash in Bowmasters, I could subtlety the Bowmasters. I don't think that's good though. What's the win con? That's the neat part. There is no win con. Oh, Masters. Alright, here's my plan. Two turn sequence. Plus pass, and then plus pass again, instant speed verdict. Assuming they don't discard me. Am I just necro me? Just take my rings again, because they know they can never beat it. Ekin? No, this is Octopath Traveler. Is this... Hold on. I was like, this sounds just like Tekken. Get my video game music confused. Rest down. And makes a thingy. Makes a thingy. I like it's a needle. Naming Tef or Ring? I like Tef, right? Nope, name's Ring. Interesting. Hm. We play one spell a turn. I just want to draw a card here. Yeah, I kind of just want to draw a card. And, like, I guess returning the rack to their hand also kind of stuns them on mana a little bit. That mattered a lot less to me than, like, just drawing a card. Hi, Tiff. Ah, ring. Now we're kind of in two for one value town. 
Ringu. Mm -hmm. Plays redundant Urborg. Fails the Urborg check. Ask me for with both and then flashes another bow mastery. Okay. Yeah. I don't need this ring to win. I think they have Lily. Might have Lily. I don't know what kind of a threat Lily's really posing to me right now. I don't think it's a very big one. with you. Dothy and the wreck. Alright, I think I just solitude. Solitude there. Untap. Send in with both. if they want to overcommit to another solitude I will take three ouch build this bowmaster and then start drawing Hey, I'm drawing over you. Feel like we are miles ahead. Just so far ahead. Right, we win, yay. Yeah, I heard he's at the last PT. I think he's doing coding now. Yeah, he passed away. No, he didn't pass away. Now DT, on the other hand, he passed away. Kidding, kidding. DT's fine. I probably put blue eye control at like A tier, B tier maybe, C tier on a good day. That's because you are old. That's okay too. Nothing wrong with being old. Maybe if you're running really hot, like, D tier. Fed. That's life. Draw me more cards. Big dress down. I'm ready for the grief. Some blood moon me. That'd be a tragedy. 
cockroach. I think they have main deck blood moon. Hmm. Play around blood moon a little bit. Immediately regret it. Classic. This definitely needs to be the Bant Triome. Jumi. Jumi Bant Triome. Bant Triome, Xander's Lounge. Other than that, it's been running pretty smooth. My opponent said, hmm, I doubt you would play the Wandering Emperor. I'm just going to cast Solitude. Just the tood. Reef time. Bye bye, Ale. I'm trying to protect Narsa here. Yeah, but I want my white triumph to be able to cast my green spells, right? Because I want to get a blue-white land that also casts green. So, I think that one's the best. Because I want double-white for Supreme Verdict, and it's like, if my blue-white triumph can't cast Cosmic Rebirth, why are we playing Cosmic Rebirth type of thing? So it's like, if you want to be able to play Cosmic Rebirth, I think you should play Band Triome. You're going to have an off-color Triome no matter what. But I feel like Xander's is better than Ketria. Double Surveillance based. Abzan Trium, but then you can't cast, you can't cast Counterspell. You gotta be able to cast Counterspell. Sanders can't cast Verdict. That's not true. That's blue. It's blue. Like, this Triome is doing nothing that Xanders can't do if this were a Bant Triome. Just swap the green and the black around. Because is doing nothing. Alright, Stern Scolding in Leyline in Supreme Verdict. Dress Down. Uh, force negation out. Two pennings can come out. Oh, we're on the draw. I think I want pending on the draw. On the play, pending becomes a lot worse. I've been siding out Narset days and doing a lot. I don't know if that's correct. But it feels like the worst thing in the deck so far. Zagoth Rogren. I think that's fine too. Actually, I think that's the same thing as playing our current setup. I think I'll try the Bant one. Kind of dig the Bant one. Here's my ley line. So... Catria here. Yep. Ooh. 
Maybe it wasn't supposed to shock you. Now I'm kind of just taking some extra damage that I really didn't need to take, I guess. I could have just played the dole. So am I really going to binding the single bowmaster? Maybe. I guess. Another one. Immediately drawing into Supreme Verdict is like the biggest beat. It's like you dingus, you shouldn't have uh, cast that binding. Down to 12. I really hope they tap out for another threat here. That's not. Well, I guess they can tap out for Blood Moon, that's fine. Maybe I'm actually just cool taking another hit from this Bowmaster, because the worst thing that could possibly happen is that I tap out for Supreme Verdict and they Blood Moon me. I think I'm just going to pass and take another 3 damage. More Bowmasters. Take 4, 5, down to 7. Try not to get Blood Moon to get Blood Mooned a lot. This gets swept up in the Verdict, but that lets them filter two cards. What if they have an Undying effect? I can just counter this. Big three, I could solitude it. Yeah, I think I just pass here. I'm trying to be really conservative with this verdict. I don't know if it's gonna work out super well for me. Alright, well that worked out pretty well. Gildred? This went way better than expected. Another Fable's pretty good. I can just pass here, though. And then just, like, leave up Subtlety. Yeah, here has Vigilance, though, so... It's a combo, in quotes. What, do they have Icy Manipulator? True. When you put it that way, you make a good point. Okay. This went swimmingly. I haven't seen a copy of the One Ring yet. Orange just doesn't have very many impactful threats that I can even top deck at this point. 
their best draws, I guess, are like Ragavan, Shieldred, and Fable. Finn's Agrant's Rampage. Dothie's fine. Oh, Shisa. Oh, Shisa. Yep. As long as I don't die to this ring. Which, I don't think I'm going to die to this ring, because it's going to take... What is that? Six, seven, eight. I have to miss an eight draws. While your game history is just your last match. Not sure. Please. Yay. Hey, are you goldfish? Can you only remember what just happened? Because I only remember what just happened. Or we just dunked on this game. Is this Tron? Tron! Uh oh. Bring the words back. Ard just keeps killing it. Hold up. We gotta play magic chat. I know this is this could be a words on stream stream. But sometimes we play magic here too. I think this hand's fine, but it's not that fine against Tron. Also, Frick Tron, we're never gonna beat it. So Yeah, if Tron GG, if not Tron GG, but in my favor. on stream made me miss pets no it's all over for me had a good run chat almost five owed get him next time <laughs> hotashi you were right it's a four one Ah, uh, all my homies hate Tron. Please, Dingo, I spent my life savings on this league. I don't know what to tell you, it's a 4-1. Ron is the best control deck in modern. It's a tall order to beat. Shisa. Expletive. I guess the only plus is that we're going to lose quickly. Chromatic Sphere. Maybe they don't have a payoff. Huff's Copium. Off camera. Silex? Holy shit. It was a good thing I fetched, really. Bring my 2-4 to four player cube. I'll, after I owe 2, I'm down. I'll play some 2-4 to four player cube. Blue-white 0% against Tron is logic modern players have held on to since we have logic not and Ibu and legal. And it's still true. That's the worst part. It would be fine if it wasn't so true. In the matchup where the only thing that matters is land drops, and our opponent has to make significantly fewer land drops to have equal mana than us, it's tough. Like, if they ever play a Karn here, a card would blue-white run for this matchup, Ragavan and Blood Moon. Drop me the link to the 5-0 deck dumps. I have not been able to find them. Yeah... Goldfish decks, modern. Look at the right side of this page. Down the right hand column, we'll give you all the five O's. Chromatic Spheres and Blood Moon in the sideboard. Honestly, 
if they unbanned, um, what was that stupid snow artifact that fixed everybody's mana? If they unbanned that, then I'd play Blood Moon in, a, in an instant. Astrolabe. Unban Astrolabe, Blood Moon in. Get that shit out of here. Yeah, we're gonna win on clock. Because all of our opponents have been like mad slow today. Tron would just play Astrolabe. Quick start tapping and untapping. Damn, Hotash, you, you started playing Magic at a bad time. Unironically. And yet you still you decided to keep playing. That was your first mistake. Any time is a bad time to join magic. They can get the ring back. Oh, that's because Ren and Six is a mistake. What the worm doing? I really wish I could fetch. Well, fear not, for I shall never find a counter spell. So instead, I'm going to dig for subtlety. Save me, subtlety. Oh, boy. Not looking great for the home team. Surely they have nothing. Even if they have nothing, they can pop this Karn Silex and then get back their ring and then start activating ring. And as soon as they ever find an Ulamog, I have died. Yeah, they're hold holding tower Ulapog, 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 Ulapog in hand. And they're just like, hmm. Tough turn. I feel like my opponent's double queuing. Siege Rhino standard was peak. I have four Ulapogs, please concede. Yep, Karn. Throws the ring, plays the ring, draws with the ring. The ring does it all. Yeah, at least we're gonna lose fast. I is what I thought. Ah, oh, this is lame. I have to remove the three threads, and I really cannot. I guess we can go order of importance here. Prismatic ending, take out the Silex, so I can fetch, and then binding the Karn. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Binding the Karn. Draw off the ring. Decide later. I think I still have to get rid of this. All right. Letting him untap with ring does not make me happy. Makes me quite sad. At least we're doing good on time. Maybe it takes them 15 minutes to kill us. Or a lot less. They put Karn on the bottom. I feel like I'm in danger. Why would they put Karn on the bottom? Oh my god. Pop in there. Eh? 
two, three, four, five, six. Tack the Karn. Ron, please. You're such a bad vibe. Uses the needle. I'm gonna needle my hall the storm giants. Oh, that's so messed up. Ah, uh, this is fine. We can win. Smile. La 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 la. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Fuck Tron. Who's a Sundering Titan? Gets Micros and Lattice. I have Ulapog in hand, please concede him. Maybe they minus again. I heard it also works pretty well in Pioneer. I should try it sometime. Even Jeskai Control can win a challenge. With this one simple trick. One's at 33. Alright. Second Solitude. Yeah, sure. Is this game winnable? I almost feel like partially yes. And that's frustrating. I want it to be over. <laughs> I forgot about that. Thanks for bringing back repressed memories, Ariok. All right, we can win this. We can win this. We can win this. No problem. Just don't oolapog me again. That morale plummets to an all-time low. Winnable? They usually run two. Depends. They have eight cards, but more importantly, they only have 12 minutes on the clock. Now here's why... We're, here's where I employ my pro pioneer strats. Tap land, untap land, tap land, untap land. Oh, do it, Dingo. It's not worth it. That Narset is not arena as a card, so I have to use the stained glass one. Stained glass one's not bad. Those are the ones I want in paper. Oblivion stone. Uh, no. This Narset's the only thing keeping me from dying right now. Thundering Titan? Pretty sure I got a subtlety Thundering Titan. I don't remember if it says when it dies or when it leaves the field. Oh boy, Ulpog. Fuck. Tank, 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 pog. <laughs> tank, 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 get pogged on. Idiot. I mean, this is not fine. This is fine for clock damage, but this is not fine. I 
I could draw another Narset. That'd be good. Bounce the Ool Bog. I'll never see it coming. It's <laughs> a good idea, Zeriak. I think I'll do it now. All right, 40. This is fine. No more Ulamogs. We're in the clear. Now they can never win. Draw your last pathetic 16 cards with ring. Sub 10 minutes. Tick tock opponent. I'm still at 13. I gotta read the Sundering Titan again. When it enters or leaves the battlefield. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Did they play land drop chat? Chat I wasn't watching. Did they play land drop? Oh shit. I'm just gonna be safe. I don't remember if they played land drop or not. I AFK'd IRL. That stone's not even good anymore. Picked up Urza Saga. Oh, Narset. Oh my god, it's Narset. Find me Days Undoing. Oh my god, it's Days Undoing. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, we're gonna win. <laughs> oh shit. We might win. Holy shit. Instacarn. Fuck out of your Karn. Fuck out of you. I had to get rid of the Ozone, I think. I also have to not deck out. You drop Narset. Alright, don't deck out challenge. Kinda hard. May draw a card. But just one, and no more. Everybody gets one. Honestly, I think I'm favored if I just do nothing. So I'm just going to continue doing nothing. Because I'm favored clockwise. And on the board. The Karn on top. I need more cards. Any more counter spells? Okay. Uh, all very upset. All angry. All smush. All win. Yay! Can't lose. It's been called. All right. Now can't win. Post board has also been called. 
because I don't think that's ever happening. Is Blue White the best deck in Modern? Is Tron a winnable matchup? It's only good on Tuesdays. I mean, I think we're just rolling with this because Supreme Verdict is kind of ass. They got to win two games. Chally? We've... Oh, Chally. I didn't even realize I had a Chalice. I, like, my eyes glaze over whenever I see a Chalice on the sideboard now because I'm like, there's no Rhinos. Not Rhinos, I'm not bringing in Chalice. But yeah, I probably should have brought in Chalice. I have a chalice? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'll bring it in for game three if there is a game three. Chalice never on one. Only zero. It's only good on like specifically turn two. Seven minutes. Urza Saga. Crying. Yep. Six minutes. Are I gonna make constructs? Probably. Makes a construct. Close mana expedition map. Hit me construct. New technique of tapping and untapping will work. I should try it. Gets banned from Moto. And has far too many solitudes in it. Save me, subtlety. Only you can fight off the Karn Nemesis. Nice Bellatro hand, thank you. It's probably like a 100x modifier easily. I don't know how to play Bellatro. Hey Trev, thank you for the follow. Oblivion Stone. Tax doesn't attack? Passes. They remembered the ring protection. We need a pending this. If I don't pending it, it gives him back ring. But I mean, Karn's gonna give him back ring anyways. I guess if Karn gives them back ring, I can go to Fairy Bounce, Leyline Binding, Leyline Binding, Karn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab beside you. Rude. How do they know I was going to do nefarious things with this leyline binding? Sad that we're going to win this match on a technical team. M's the beats, I guess.
Yeah, the rest of them is not bad here. We drew nothing in 23 cards. <laughs> we have Solitudes. That's something. Bug. Bug off King. I can go Solitude, Pitch, Solitude. Put a Solitude into play. Solitude. Ulamog. Kill Karn. Is this too complicated? Nah, I think this will be fine. Actually, a very good draw. Ending X equals 10. The dream. I'll deal with the ring soon. Maybe. Maybe not. Kind of doing it. I don't know. Just surviving, I guess. Surviving's cool. My solitudes. Bye-bye. What the worm doing? Pretty much the only thing I care to counter is like Sundry Titan. Because the Sundry Titan's gonna demolish me. Days I'm doing is pretty much Elixir, right? I guess I gotta counter this Karn. Actually, can I even afford to? I don't think I can afford to counter this Karn. I think I just need to exclusively counter things that physically kill me. This is fine because I only have 7 mana left over and they need 8 for Sundering Titan. I don't know if I care too much about that. Just pending it for 1 mana later. Oh shit, I was supposed to fetch. Mayhaps I was supposed to fetch in response. They even attacked me. Alright, let's think about this turn. Prismatic ending the chalice. Alternatively, ending the Karn. Our cards. Coil. I can't counter it anyways. I think I just bounce this form coil. Alright, let's go team stay alive. I think this would have ended up as a draw on paper. The pog takes out more lands. Assuming I lost this game in paper, I definitely did. The days in doing a draw step. Try to hit solitude. For team stay alive. 
We failed team stay alive. We failed. They have to win in 45 seconds. Somehow I don't think my Tron opponent can win in 45 seconds. Sounds great, by the way. Truly, they can't win with 45 seconds, right? Kills me. We never draw third land. Kills me. In fact, preservational side. Maybe. I'd be surprised if they killed me in 35 seconds. But also, if they killed me in 35 seconds, they wanted it more. Oh shit, Natty Tron. Maybe they did want it more. Never mind. I wanted it more. Never mind, I wanted it more. One second on the clock, opponent. One second. I have a new hand. Yay! Currently taking notes. <clears throat> Note to control players. If you want it more, simply just draw better. Congrats, believers. We did it! One bing bong for everybody in chat. But no more than one. If I catch you doing more than one bing bong... Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>